Jason Eichelberger here for Caltrack. I am with the state junior Megan Humphreys. She's holding this trophy because today she has three individual victories. The champion in the long jump, 19, nine and a half, won the 456, 27, and then all conditions, tops in the state so far, in the 200 meters, 2404. Megan, first and foremost, congratulations. Thank you so uh, much. Just, just take us through your day today. We'll start in the long jump. Uh, it was a fourth attempt uh, jump that got you the big one here today. Just take me through that event. How did it feel when you left the game? I felt awesome. For a while, like earlier this season, up until I went to the meet um, to nationals in New York, I'd been a consistent like 18 foot jumper. So just like just recently, I've started to hit 19s, and I'm so happy to see like such rapid improvement. It's crazy to me, and I'm just really, really glad I managed to do that well. <laughs> now, you didn't have much time to rest before yeah, yeah. Uh, 400 today, and obviously that's a challenge in and of itself yeah. in terms of skill set and things you need to do to be successful. Take us through that race and mentally how you were able to kind of push aside what you did in the long jump and then go ahead and do that in 400. Honestly, the 400 has never been my favorite race, so it was like, honestly, I was dreading going into it, but, um... I told myself just like, I have such a long break until I get to the 200, I'm just going to leave any energy I have, just leave it out on the track. And going into it, I knew I wouldn't have much time to rest, and I'm also kind of used to going back and forth from events, because I typically, I'll do high jump and long jump, and they're normally at the same time. So I was in two phase by the short rest. <laughs> but um, I don't think it impacted my race too, too much. So. Got the victory there, and then mm -hmm. uh, the cherry on top of the Sunday, yeah. 2404 in mm -hmm. the 200. Uh, a little bit wind aided, but still under mm -hmm. all conditions, tops in the state so far this year, pending other results. Yeah. Um, a field that included some very, very talented runners, oh, including the Phoenix State champion. Mm -hmm. Take us through that experience in that race. Uh, what were you telling yourself that you had to oh. do in order to come out with the victory? What I was telling myself, I was reminding myself because I've been struggling with my block start. I was reminding myself, like, no matter how, like, what happens with my block start, I have to get out as fast as I can. Don't, like, stutter, but, like, mentally it shouldn't affect me if I do mess up my block start. I also told myself that I need to catch, whoever's on my outside, I need to catch them as soon as possible. That's always been a strategy that's always, like, helped me to, um, like, figure out how to, not exactly pace myself, but just to, like, pull myself up in the race and, like, make myself run faster. Um, during the race, I, I'm blanking out on the name, but the state champion, she was on my, on my inside, and she passed me up by the time we got on the curb, she was right next to me, so I was like, I gotta catch her on the straightaway, <laughs> and man, was I fighting to get that, it was a really tough race, I'm really happy with the outcome, I think everyone did great, and I'm just, I'm very happy with the outcome. Getting <laughs> pushed, uh, Brazil Neil there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sarah, definitely getting pushed. That that obviously shows a lot about yourself as well. How will you take this performance here today? Three PRs. How will you take this and sort of bottle this uh, energy up and this momentum mm -hmm. as we now move next week? Obviously, a big meet in mm -hmm. terms of Arcadia. I'm really hoping that um, I've been getting recently. I've been getting almost like not to brag, but <laughs> I've been getting like hitting PR after PR, and it's just helping me build confidence and like momentum to push myself even harder to do well in my events. I'm, I'm sure this will be like a great motivating factor in how I perform in Arcadia, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, obviously going into Arcadia with a great deal of momentum again. Megan Humphreys, Castaic High School, three-time champion here today at the 2023 Tribuco Hills Invitational. Wins a long jump, 19, nine and a half. Wins the 400, 56, 27, and then 2404, all weather, all conditions. Uh, tops in the state so far this year. Megan, congratulations, Thank and we'll you. see you next week.